Hi there, guitarist and composer Mike Georgiadis here, uh, just talking again about my MG Soft Nylon guitar uh, for Contact Player, uh, available through Spitfire and Piano Book. Uh, today I'm going to focus on uh, shaping the MIDI notes uh, to produce the most realistic uh, guitar parts, and specifically the sustain pedal that uh, the instrument uses, when to use it and when maybe to use a manual approach of stretching out MIDI notes instead. I will also do a quick improv on the keyboard at the end of this video showing how by following a few of these basic principles you can get great results with the guitar. So let's start with when to use the sustain pedal. The pedal is best suited to arpeggio playing with spaced out notes such as this kind of thing. Notice how I leave a clear gap between chord changes. As I mentioned in a previous video, unlike conventional piano style sustain technique where you would overlap the pedal up with the start of the next chord, with this guitar instrument those gaps are important in simulating the fret hand shifting position and you get the accompanying squeaks in auto mode when you release the sustain pedal. Now when I start to play scale passages and melody lines, the sustain pedal is not the best option always as the transition between neighbouring notes becomes artificially smooth. The reality of playing the guitar is that there are always small uh, gaps between notes. So in this scenario, the best method is to manually hold or sustain the notes before releasing each note a fraction before the next note. Here's a simple scale, firstly using the sustain pedal, then using this manual sustain method. Hopefully you can hear the difference is obvious. So here's another passage also holding bass notes and adding in some slurs where you overlap consecutive notes. So like I said, the key is just to leave um, small time gaps between the notes. Even with fast scale passages, you still want those gaps. So when a real guitar is plucked, there's always a fraction of the second between stopping the note and stroking the next note. And therefore you need these little gaps. So finally, I'm going to do a rambling improvisation using a combination of the sustain pedal and the manual sustain approach to suit any given phrase. This is all played using the guitar's auto mode, providing automatic fret positions and shifting squeaking sounds when the sustain pedal is lifted. Even further realism and control can be achieved uh, when using manual mode, and I have made a dedicated video to manual mode and all the things you can do just to bring, bring out the realism a little bit more.
So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some ideas as to um, how to, to play this in real time. As a composer, it's really important to me that this instrument was um, achievable in terms of results through real time playing rather than just simply MIDI programming. You know, it's very important to get inspired by what's coming out in real time. So yes, I hope you're enjoying the instrument if you've uh, already purchased it. Uh, please let me know any questions uh, and thanks again.